What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Kendrick Lamar defeats Drake. Drake denies dating underage ladies. Drake's 17-year-old fan speaks out, child. Let's get it. Impressive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. It seems like the rap battle between Kendrick Lamar and Drake is over, at least for now, because Drake dropped his own response, and it sounds like he's waving the white flag. Now, I don't blame Drake for giving up because I would have given up too. I would have given up a long time ago because Kendrick is the type that doesn't know when to stop. I mean, I've realized that he is a whole menace and Drake underestimated him. At first he was trolling him and egging him on to drop his response. And the minute Kendrick dropped his diss record, he emptied the whole clip. He dropped Did one he? and dropped another one and dropped and another, another one, one and dropped another, another one. one. <laughs> Drake was like, hold on now. Okay, it's time to stop. <laughs> Drake said, you could drop a hundred more records, but I'll see you later. <laughs> That's Damn. what he said in his latest response. So Drake is checked out. I think he's mentally and emotionally exhausted. Now you see why J. Cole tapped out because he ain't got time to go back and forth with Kendrick like that. Kendrick got too much energy for these guys. And I Kendrick got too much energy and too much time. Literally, I just don't understand what be going on. My bad, y'all. I got to take a picture of this because I always stop on 111. Y'all see me. I just stopped on it. <laughs> I will say in the final analysis, Kendrick won this battle. He had more stamina. He had more passion. He was sharper and he even had Drake pushing his pen more than usual. And I have to say, I was impressed with some of Drake's responses too. I thought Family Matters was a great diss song, but it didn't get a chance to shine because Kendrick kept dropping back to back. Kendrick had his foot on Drake's neck. I'm telling you, the man wasn't playing around, which is why I have to give the battle to Kendrick. When Kendrick dropped he Not won. Like Us, I was completely taken out. I'm Not Like Us made me want to crip walk, and I'm a pedestrian. I just thought that y'all should know that, but I wanted to crip walk. You know I mean, me? this man got Don't me know how to do it at all. Uh, 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 I'm <laughs> so mad that song is stuck in my head right now. Like, he is so unserious for that. And then you even have Metro Boomin going into the studio making a beat called BBL Drizzy and getting rappers to rap on it. And Drake was like, did you really just chef up a beat about my ass? <laughs> <laughs> did you really just make a beat about a bbl see i ain't even see that i mean that was so funny that tickled me senseless i was laughing but aside from all of the funny stuff there were a lot of serious accusations coming from both sides drake accused kendrick of putting his hands on his girlfriend whitney and he said that one of his children isn't even his he claimed that whitney had an affair with that kendrick's manager like dave her. free uh, and then on the other hand kendrick was accusing drake and his associates of being involved in trafficking and messing with underage girls and he said drake has a gambling and a drug problem and then he says he's hiding an 11 year old daughter which we all later on found out that Drake that hired crap. somebody to send fake information to Kendrick that he had a daughter. I mean, he literally set him up and gave him bait to rap about baited content, which is crazy. So this was Drake's master plan. He said that he was out here baiting Kendrick by planting fake stories. But the accusations that Drake made about Kendrick are also unfounded and unproven as well. So there was a lot of misinformation thrown out there by both parties and it did trivialize the whole battle. But Drake did release- I do not miss that Drake right there. Bring the beard. His final response to Kendrick for now, the response he released is called The Heart Part Six and he addressed the whole rumors of him messing around with underage girls. He first took shots at Kendrick and said the reason why Kendrick is so fixated on him being a PDF foul is because he was touched on PDF when he was younger crazy. and he referenced Kendrick's song Mother I Sober but in the song Mother I Sober Kendrick said that he wasn't touched. His mother was afraid that he got touched because it happened to her when she was younger but Kendrick said that his cousin did not touch him. So that whole angle that Drake tried to use really fell flat because he got the information wrong and even if it was true it's I just I love that song this video over right here I still want you to want me. His samples be crazy. It's a weird thing to mock somebody's trauma in that way 
but there's been a lot of disrespectful things that's been said in this whole rap battle so i guess nothing is off limits then drake went on to deny the pdf allegations he said i never been with no one underage but now i understand why this the angle that you really mess with just for clarity i feel disgusted i'm too respected if i was effing young girls i promise i've been arrested mm. i'm way too famous for the stuff you just suggested mm. now i thought this was a weird take too because there have been several famous people who have been caught up in similar allegations so being famous doesn't necessarily exempt oh, kelly got a long ass forehead help you from these allegations and also there are some people who are famous and in high positions of power who are guilty of some of these things, but they use their power and their influence to pay off and silence their victims. I'm not saying Drake does this, but there are some. So y'all remember, um, I forgot what the song was. Young Thug said, I'm untouchable. He said, too untouchable, something. I'm too rich, I'm too paid. And he's sitting over there in prison, basically waiting to be sentenced for a longer time getting fat and all kind of shit other people who do this so being quote unquote too famous doesn't mean anything whether not. you're famous or not if you're guilty of the crime you're guilty period but once again i'm not saying that drake is guilty of anything he was accused of we don't have any substantial proof to know that he had relations with underage girls but some people do believe he grooms them and i don't know if this is true or not either but people have noticed some of the interactions, the odd interactions he has with some underage girls. For example, he was texting the actor. Who knew he was kissing Kylie Jenner like this on her face at 16? But also it's a video surfacing of him speaking to a fan. And um, she told him that he was, she told him that she was 17 and he was like i don't know how to feel whether to feel bad or like turned on it was something like that and then um so in canada allegedly uh like a grown person can get into a relationship with a 16 year old so just want to put that out there actions he has with some underage girls for example he was texting the actress Millie Bobby Brown when she was like 14 or 15 years old and he was 31 at the time. What about your relationship with What? With Drake. Tell me about your friendship. How uh, did this all come about? I love him. I met him in Australia and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just text each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna go and see him. I'm so excited, yeah. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about is it weird to to um yes it is i'm not even about to like why is drake talking to a 15 year old oh, boys he helps me what yeah 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 he's great he's wonderful i love What's him his advice with boys you know that stays in the text messages <laughs> <laughs> Now, Millie Bobby Brown did come out and defend her friendship with Drake, but a lot of people found it odd that Drake was even texting her about boys in the first place. I mean, well, I can... I, okay, hold on, because I don't think that that's odd. That's like an uncle talking to his niece. The only difference is he's not her uncle. <laughs> that would be the only thing. I can understand if they were talking business because they both are in the entertainment industry, but the optics do look really funny when you hear about a 31 year old man talking to a 15 year old girl about romance in the dms it's a little odd even though millie bobby brown said nothing happened and it was all innocent the optics do look funny and drake said that he would never look at no teenager but he has lyrics like high school pics you was even bad then and it was revealed that he was following the producer lil cc and her friend when they were in high school okay so the drake thing Mm -hmm. you met him well, when did you first meet him so so i played basketball right so he right. really was a fan of one of or not a fan supported one of my teammates um at the time and because and this is when you're her, in high school yeah in okay. high school so he was a fan of women's basketball high school basketball i was her teammate so he followed me because of her and i was like oh sh bitch you got drake to follow me like what the hell like that's so crazy <laughs> now from my knowledge i don't think drake had any romantic connection with little cc i don't know about her friend 
That looked like a romantic connection. Friend, but I don't think there was anything with him and Cece. However, it's just the optics that look a little funny. And people just run with all types of speculations. For example, there was some speculation that Drake was dating a young model named Bella Harris because of how they were posted up. First off, this nigga like, like went on a date with an 18 year old. It's a little creepy, but it's cool. She 18, whatever. It's weird, but it's legal. All right, bro. She was born in 2000, bro. Why the fuck is this flicked up with her in 2016 laying up on her, bro? Mm. Mm. Drake. Drake? And then as soon as she turned 18, they took her out on a date, bro. Dude, this sh He was waiting. Or, or, or he wasn't waiting, waiting to say something publicly when she was older. I fucking mind when I seen this shit, bro. Now, both Drake and Bella Harris denied going out on a date in Washington, D.C. because they were in two separate locations at the time. So they denied this dinner date. But once again, it's the optics. The optics of Drake I mean, that's just that's really close right there. That's a really close picture. Being connected to younger girls kind of fuels these suspicions that he grooms them. And it's Why not- Why would all the women he take pictures with, he put his head on their head? What is that about? Right to assume that, especially if there's no evidence to back it up. But Do y'all see? I don't care where the flick at. His head is on her head. Just how he's perceived. And there was an old footage that resurfaced of him having an inappropriate interaction this. with a younger girl. She was 17 and he was 23 at the time. And even though in some states 17 is of legal age, on a federal level, it's not. 18 is still oh. the federal legal age. Old video of Drake that has previously been available, I hadn't seen, of him at a concert, a little bit questionable. She's 17, he finds out after having kissed her and his reaction is I don't wanna go to jail, but then he starts kissing her and talking about her breasts. So, a little bit weird. This is why people are kind of running with these whole PDF allegations about Drake. Even though it hasn't been confirmed or proven that he's had relations with anyone underage, videos like this make him look extremely suspect. But the girl who was in this video actually spoke out in defense of Drake. Like any of them can be Diddy, you know? and said regarding the video that's going like like dealing with it went around i was 17 back then and i'm 31 now this was a concert that my dad took me to back in high school drake's entourage actually picked me out of the crowd of the people not drake himself by the way performers always bring up fans on stage it's a part of their show it was nothing then and it's still nothing now now that I've cleared up these false narratives, I'm going back to study for my law school exams. Wish me luck. So she yeah. downplayed this interaction and said that nothing went further. But it's the fact that it happened that make people uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Because Drake asked her her age. He found out she was 17. He cringed, but he still five, five, five in the chat. her. That was inappropriate. There's no way to defend this. And her daddy should have never let her go up on stage anyway, knowing that Facts. she's only 17. Facts. It's just a mess. Pops but anyway, is the one who should have had an issue. This video down below. Please like, comment, and I have subscribe. So many things and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Pops is the one who should have had an issue. And most of the time, it's them damn daddies uh, that be like, oh, it's cool, you know, go ahead and mess with my daughter. Like, why would why would you say something like that, nigga? So, you know, it's just a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.